Welcome to a brand new episode of Book Review. Today I'll be doing one of the easy things that YouTubes do. YouTubes, YouTubes do. <laughs> Clearly speaking English is not one of them, but I digress. The easy things that YouTubers do are Q&As and tags. And today I will be doing a tag. More specifically, the booktube newbie tag and it's not because I'm a newbie because I'm not I've been making booktube videos since the beginning of the year but it's because I haven't done this tag yet and also for the reasons I already mentioned which mostly are laziness so I got some questions on this booktube wiki I think these are correct I have no idea but let's go with them number one why did you start this channel <laughs> a good question hey it's been so long I don't know why I started this channel but let's just say that the first video I uploaded was a video of me playing guitar that my sister filmed without me asking. And then I thought, oh, this is nice, I'll put on YouTube. And then people liked it. And then I refilmed the same video, not the same video because it was in a different place, and, but the same song. And I got lots of views from that. And then I filmed another song. And then I realized, well, maybe I should just keep playing guitar. And then I realized, no, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> because of the people who play and sing much better than me. And people kept asking for tutorials. And I'm like, I don't want to give, I don't want to do a tutorial. And then I just filmed many, many different things. And then this year I started doing booktube. But the booktube is not the reason why I started this channel. <laughs> Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone trying to copy PewDiePie as a booktuber yet, except for him, because he became a booktuber after I became a PewDiePie copy booktuber, so he got the idea from me. Okay, the book review title with the claps, I came up with the idea. <laughs> Speaking of PewDiePie, he hasn't uploaded a book review in a long time. I wonder what's going on with him. But what else can I bring to booktube? It's me, I don't know, I'm different than other people. Everyone is different, right? Everyone is unique. You bring yourself and the books you read, which are not gonna be the same as everyone else's because people have different interests, even if it's a little bit. In my case, a lot <laughs> in comparison to all the other booktubers I've seen so far. What are you most excited for about this new channel? Ah, oh, this brand new channel, 10 year old channel. I don't even know how old it is, but old, old, old. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Number four, why do you love reading? That's a great question. I love reading because I love learning new things and just getting a different perspective on, on stuff. The thing is each person sees the world through their worldview and a way of expanding that is by talking to people and listening to them, not just talking at them, traveling, you know, going to different places and different uh, times which is not very possible unless you go to a museum or you travel to a place with like old stuff and you learn about the history of things or a very easy one that everyone and anyone can do you read a book every time you read a book you're getting into someone else's mind and getting someone else's perspective and worldview even if it's fiction because fiction books are based in truths even if it's not very clear but they are there's always an underlying reality in fiction and that's why i love reading because i can get into someone else's mind in another time even time in the past sometimes someone else's perceived future right if you're reading science fiction and futuristic stuff and i don't have to even get out of my couch and i don't have to not i don't have to carry my tea around i can just sit down and then shoo, I'm instantly inside someone else's head. What book or series got you into reading? School? <laughs> I don't know, when I learned how to read, got me into reading. I'm not like obsessed. I mean, I'm obsessed, I just don't have enough time. I don't spend three hours of my day reading. I read as much as I can. I do many, many, many other things. So I don't know, it's not, I, don't, I can't think there's a specific thing. There's a book that I really like, which is The Little Prince, and I'm gonna do a book review on The Little Prince at a later time, because I wanna make that video really, really good. And to do that, you know, if you make videos, you know it takes a lot of effort to do it really. That's besides the point, but I can't think of a specific series or something. Like, I'm not like a divergent person or a, a vampire diaries person, because I don't read any of them. But <laughs> I read other types of books. We'll come to that question later. But yeah. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Well, my favorite booktuber is Grace, G Swizzle Books, and I already asked her lots of questions. 
I don't think I have any pending questions at the moment. If I do, I always find her and I ask her questions. Please go and subscribe to G Swizzle Books if you're here, if you're new, if you haven't heard of her before, which is I doubt because she's very famous. Go, link is in the description. G Swizzle Books, search on YouTube, search on Google, you'll find her, okay? Also, the, that, that app that Booktubers use, what is it called? Goodreads, that one. I'm, I'm on Goodreads as well, by the way. I have two friends, one of them is G Swizzle Books. Did that answer the question? What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Well, the hardest that has been so far is to read enough books to make enough book review videos to have content for them. Look, we're gonna get to the question of what kind of books I read in a moment and you maybe you understand, maybe, but hopefully. But I don't, it, 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 it takes me a while to finish the books I'm reading. When did you start reading, huh? I was three years old, my dad taught me how to read. And I specifically remember when I was in preschool, one day I was being very naughty and the teacher was like, Carlos, you're not listening. Come and explain the homework. And she probably thought, ha, ah, I got him. He didn't pay attention to the explanation. So I looked at the homework and I read it and explained it because I could read. And she got a bit annoyed at me for doing that. Wouldn't you? Where do you read? Well, I read sitting down having a cup of tea. I read while I'm walking because I listen to books on Audible and if I were responsible by Audible I'll give you a code and stuff and you give me some whatever but you know Audible is great when I'm walking to work or walking from work or just driving somewhere but I generally read around the house sometimes I try to go outside it's nice to go outside in my lunchtime but yeah I mean where do you read where else would you read in the toilet yeah I read in the toilet sometimes as well I guess I don't know, and anywhere? <laughs> and the last question, and I think probably one of the most important ones, I don't know why it's the last question. What kind of books do you read? That's a good question. Lately, I've been reading a lot of non-fiction. I've been reading mostly, listening on Audible, but mostly, not mostly, but completely listening on Audible because I don't have the, <laughs> the actual book. Uh, what's it called? The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. It's a very interesting book, it's about the whole before, during and after of Nazi Germany. And it's really, really good. It's like 57 hours of listening. That's why it takes me a while to read a book, okay? I'm also reading a book called Ordinary Man, which is also about people in the Nazi regime that went and did terrible things and trying to understand the reasoning behind it. I almost finished that book. And other books I finished recently involve terrible things in the Soviet Union. So you can see there's a trend there at the moment. I'm reading a lot of history and I'm reading a lot of why people do horrendous things, trying to understand the psychology behind it and trying to understand the historical factors behind it. But I have many, many other books in my list of to, do, to read, including some fiction books, some classics. I'm from Brazil. I read a lot of books in Portuguese when I was in school. So there's so many English classics that I haven't read yet, including some Shakespeare, like most Shakespeare stuff, I haven't read yet. Isn't that a travesty? I'm trying to fix that, but some of the books I want to read are not necessarily the easiest ones to read. In summary, I think I read a lot of nonfiction, and I also read occasionally some fiction. That was it, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for welcoming me in the booktube community if you haven't yet. <laughs> if you're new as well, welcome. Please leave a comment saying, come and check out my newbie video, blah, blah, blah. Go and check out when I have some time. And subscribe for booktuber videos every two weeks. That's how long it takes for me to read books, okay? But every two weeks, a Tuesday, at whatever time it is on the banner, there will be a new video with either a book review or a tag or something booktube related. And don't forget to subscribe to Grace as well, okay? Link in the description. She's awesome, especially if you like young adult fiction or Marvel stuff. She's a big fan of Marvel and Divergent and some other related things. <laughs> okay, that's it for me. Bye.